Hello Musers, if this is your first time on this channel, hi, my name is Anais Lucia, I'm the host of MuseCast, the podcast all about Muse, and I made this shirt in preparation of the Muse concert I'm about to go to as part of their intimate show tour, but if you want to make your own Muse shirt for just everyday life or any Muse concert, I can show you guys. This is a halter top style, it's a t-shirt that I made into a halter top, so in case you're interested in a halter top shirt, or even if it's not halter top, just a plain t-shirt, you want to write this song title or any other song title, keep on watching. All right, so you're going to need a black t-shirt or white t-shirt or whatever t-shirt you want to cut up, piece of cardboard, um, kind of like rectangle, you'll find out why later. Uh, your paint that you want the letters in, I'm gonna use white acrylic paint, white on black, brushes to write the letters in i'm gonna try out different ones but i feel like this one is probably gonna work the best it's kind of like a pointed tip so hopefully that one will work the best water to clean your brushes off in water for the brushes bowl or whatever plate uh, to put your paint in paper towels for cleaning off your brushes or any other mess you might need and scissors First step, we have to cut the t-shirt. I kind of eyeball it, but if this is your first time, you might want to be a little bit careful. You might want to draw like a little line. Then you kind of try it on and see what fits best. So you kind of lay it out flat. And basically you're going to cut from like the armpit to the neck, like right here to the shoulder. You're basically going to cut from like the armpit of like the sleeve right here to up here to the shoulder base, like right here. And then you can try it on and see what works best if you need to cut more or whatever. But I just kind of like eyeball it. So I'm gonna do, I like to start with the right hand. I like to start with the right side, I think, cause I'm right handed. Some people like to draw like a line with the ruler, but like I said, I'm just gonna eyeball it cause I've done it a few times already with other shirts. And I'm gonna keep this sleeve just because um, I'm gonna use this to test out the paint before I dry it on the actual shirt. Now we're gonna do the other side. Pretty much same thing from the armpit to like right here. I mean, you don't. It doesn't have to be like right here all the time. You can kind of make it this a little bit thicker if you want. Maybe just like right here. Yeah, it just depends on like how you want it. It's better if you want this your first time, maybe go from the armpit to maybe like here and that way you can always cut more um, instead of starting out here. So it's better to leave more and then you can always cut more than cut too much and then you can't really replace it. But I've done this before so I kind of know how I like mine. On the left side it's a little harder for me because <laughs> I'm right handed. But. that fabric aside and there we go we're gonna take <laughs> this tag off sleeves are off and now you gotta make the thing in the back here so you can tie it you can either do it backless kind of like cut here and then cut all this part off and then it'll be backless and kind of like tie it from here but I'm not gonna do the backless version right now I'm just gonna what I do to do a little kind of strap in the back to tie it, kind of hold it halfway like this, and then make sure it's kind of lined up. The sleeves are lined up here. So, and then the tag is right here. So hold it halfway, but like this, and then you just cut right here. Just like, just cut like right here where the neck part is. <laughs> I don't know what that's called. So you kind of cut it. And maybe a little bit more just up to like here, I guess like the stitching part right here. Let's make a little like strap. All right. So there we go. And now 
going to cut from like the middle here from the line and then just cut like along here not all the way here because then yeah so i'll show you just watch <laughs> that's the best way for me to do it I'm kind of cutting like just along the line here of the stitching And don't cut all the way because you want some of it still attached because <laughs> then you're going to cut it. You need this strap. This strap is going to be used to like tie it in the back. Then I have a little piece of right here so I'm just going to kind of trim it off. I know it's like so small. But yeah. Maybe, you know, next time don't cut as much as me. <laughs> Trial and error. That's why sometimes I'll buy myself several um, black shirts and that way, if one goes wrong, I can like just like do another one. Um, so now I'm gonna do it on the other side. Along the stitching again. You know, even though I've done this a few times, still not perfect. Again, maybe we will leave a little bit more, like right here. I'm gonna cut the tags off. Here you go. And you're going to basically put it on and try it on and then use these straps to tie it like in the back. And again, you can do like a backless version. I might do another tutorial of like the backless one, but right now I don't want this one to be backless. So yeah, so this is like halter right there. And you can, if before you go on to like write the letters, I suggest like try it on just to see if it's like the fit you want. That way you can like trim a little bit more of the sides here if it's like too much um and get it like the way you want it before you add the letters because then if you add the letters first and then you want to cut more it might look weird so i'm going to try it on right now all right so i did a little bit of trimming on the sides like right here just because i wanted it was like a little bit too much so yeah once you have it the way you want also you can kind of cut the bottom if you want make them i'll make it a little bit more like rocker chic so I'm gonna do that uh, if you guys want to see you know just to make it look cooler right fold it in half cut along like right in the bottom here if you want to make it shorter you can cut more but like I said it's better to just like cut a little bit and then you can always cut more because if you cut way too much it's harder to fix so I'm just gonna cut the bottom as well <laughs> bottom and now the, to kind of make it a little bit more like curvy kind of like rockerish you kind of pull the sides right here the ends and then you kind of pull it like this a little bit and then kind of looks like all oh, cool you know it looks cooler once you put it on but <laughs> you'll see what I mean so now it's time to write we are F and F on the shirt this is so exciting I'm gonna oh there's this extra part right here i'm gonna take this off so to make the writing easier this is what you use the cardboard for just you can get a piece of cardboard and then put the shirt with the front the side that you're gonna write on facing you there you go i'm gonna use white paint i have acrylic paint you can use like the other paints it's like you know comes with like a little pencil whatever whatever you want i think <laughs> no, i already have acrylic paint so i'm gonna try it but before i try on the actual shirt i'm just gonna try it on like this piece of fabric because i've actually not i've not used acrylic paint on t-shirts before and i'm gonna try on different brushes to see which which one writes the way i like so i'm gonna try this pointed brush first because i feel like this one is gonna work the best but before I try it, I'm gonna wipe the excess like water off of it here on the paper towel. I don't want the paint very watery. So dry it, make sure like you take a lot of the water out. Paint, I'm gonna put it in the bowl. 
a little bit for right now. All right, get some paint, but maybe like wipe off some excess here so it's not too much on the t-shirt. Ooh, there we go. I like this actually. It kind of gives it the look that I want. It looks like something you would like, you know, kind of more rebellious, anarchy type of style. It's not like perfect. And that's kind of what I wanted. I want it to seem like just random, just like handwriting. And I think this brush is the good one. It's the best one for the job. So I'm gonna stick with this brush. So now I'm gonna try it on the actual shirt. If you haven't had much experience doing that, maybe using some kind of like a fabric pencil or something to write on it first, that'll be very helpful. I should probably be doing that, but I'm just gonna eyeball it. <laughs> so this part comes all the way up to your neck. So I'm not gonna start like all the way here because I don't want the letters to be like right up on my chest. I want it to start a little lower. Here we are F being F. Okay, so wish me luck. Here you go. Here I go. And then wish I'll wish you luck. You go and try it as well. Also, you can do the same thing with just a regular t-shirt. You don't have to cut the sleeves and everything. This is just <laughs> If you're, if you wanted to be a halter top, which probably it's mostly women that wanted to be a halter top, but hey, there might be some guys wanting to be a halter, halter top. I just want to make sure everything's kind of like level. I mean, just even, sorry, not level, but just even. That's the thing. You kind of have to be a little open to just things being a little off, when you're, especially if you're doing it by hand. You don't want to come too close to the sides here because then this, you know, is part going to wrap around your body. So. That's why I kind of like using the, the cardboard because it kind of tells me like just stick to this part, this part of the shirt. You don't want to be too off to the sides or too close to the, just like the edges of the shirt, you don't want to be too close to because that's going to look just not good. I like to start with the letter that's in the middle, it just kind of helps me. So since the K is in the middle of effing, <laughs> I'm going to put the K in the middle. So I'm going to imagine we are, it's going to be like right here and then effing is right here. Calvin Klein. <laughs> yeah, definitely not gonna be Calvin Klein. And just go, don't go too slow. Just go, it's a little better to just go like, just, just go, you know, go with the flow, go fast. Um, Cause then you're gonna be like shaking probably if it's your first time. Nice. Not bad, right? I should just leave it like this, right? Just go around <laughs> with the shirt that says that. It's great. <laughs> so now we're, I'm gonna write we are on top, but I like to start with them kind of what's gonna be in the middle. It kind of helps me like, gives me an idea of where everything else has to go around it. A little off now you can tell <laughs> this there's like space here and this one's like but that's fine i think i made the w way too wide i made a mistake right there but that's okay you still get the point right Mine did not come out that great, but I made everything like, <laughs> look at this ugly E, right? Told you guys. Who knows? I might make another one if I have time, but I don't think I will. I don't think I'm going to have time. If I had the time before the concert, I probably would redo it, but I don't think I'm going to have time. So there you go. There it is. And then you can kind of go over it one more time, but not too much, not too much. I'm just going over the parts that are a little lighter than I would like because I feel like it looks better. It kind of adds like some kind of cool dimension, you know, if it's like, oh, it's some parts lighter. It makes it look more like, yeah, like kind of graffiti and stuff. But yeah, I don't like how <laughs> everything is like, like, I don't know, it looks crooked, right? I kind of wanted this to be a little more, yeah, but like I made, see? 
I made this W too wide and I made this F too wide. It took up way too much space compared to this F, see? But like I said, that's kind of what happens. Um, you kind of have to be okay with it. But at least I did it. I finished the shirt. Uh, this is going to go one more time. There we go. Just leave some parts lighter. There. I think that, that's good. I'm not going to mess up with it too much. I like it where some parts are a little lighter than others. That's it. You know, so try it. It's not going to come out perfect. I mean, mine, look, look at mine. Definitely not perfect. <laughs> the letters are not aligned the way I want it. That's what happens when you eyeball it. You know, so if you're a perfectionist, fine, use a ruler, whatever. But I feel like this imperfect, you know, shirt writing, it kind of goes along with the theme of like the song. So, and the album too. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's just graffiti, you know, kind of that style. So there we go. Before I try it on, I'm gonna let this dry, I would suggest probably like overnight just to make sure it's really dry. Um, and then you can try it on and hopefully you'll like it.